Hi, I'm Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also today in this segment, I'm at the Midwest Central Railroad and Midwest Electric Railway at Midwest Old Threshers Grounds in Mount Pleasant, Iowa and continuing episode 31 with part four. What you see right behind me is Union Electric 1100. Union Electric 1100 was built by American Car Company in Canton, Ohio in 1917 and is a flat motor trolley. Originally, this car was used for the Mississippi River Power Company in Keokuk, Iowa, and this is the original number it had and was used on the Keokuk Dam across the Mississippi River and served the hydroelectric generating station. Then, in 1920, it was then used by the Union Electric and kept the number. Also, the car has a submarine-like appearance because the operator's cab of this work motor is raised above the deck to allow long length of the deck. After an icy storm heavily damaged the overhead electric wire of the railway Ameren, Missouri, which is the Union Electric Company, decided to replace the flat motor with a diesel. In 2002, it was then donated to the Midwest Electric Railway in Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and was more likely used to help with track maintenance and inspections mostly. Also, the cab was painted orange for a while till 2016. It was repainted gray. It was mainly used to help out with track work. When the 2022 reunion happened, it was rebuilt to look like this. It is added with wooden benches and staircases at each end of the unit, and it was put into passenger service. Today, this unit can be seen preserved here at the Midwest Old Threshers on the Midwest Electric Railway in Mount Pleasant, Iowa, where it is today, and is used on the trolley system to transport people around on the line as well. Okay, you can see right here is a ballast tamper that appears to have once been used by the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad all those years ago till coming here to the... Actually, it was acquired by the Georgetown Loop Railroad in Georgetown, Colorado, where it was previously, it looks like. And about 2018, it came here to the Midwest Central Railroad here in Mount Pleasant, Iowa. And it's used to align ties and drive spikes and this machine has also been used to spread ballast as well and here it is today okay i'm going to show you all the exhibits back here and i'll get behind the camera and show you around so here we go okay so here we go through this side of the tracks excuse me here's a luggage cart and some locomotive parts, it looks like. That's a, looks like a gener steam generator. I think that one is as well. Or it looks like a, I'm not sure what it could be. Probably something used in a diesel. And up here are wooden train wheels up here that were, yeah, I think they look real. And there's a number, a serial number on it. And I think these are just probably replicas. There's a drill press, railroad crossing sign when you're approaching a crossing. 
which is usually yellow and the R is just across, but not next to the other letter R. Here's some steam air compressors right here. And just right here, these trees are used for the North Pole Express train. And also right here is, is what is used to, this is track gauge. And I think this is used to help align the tracks. Track levels. Here's some picks and shovels and tongs. If you want to pause and read all this, feel free to. I'll just pan along. You can see clearly. And that's from the Transcontinental Railroad being completed in 1869. 10 miles of track in one day. Now let's look at this wall and then across from the other. That's a map of Iowa. And I'm not too sure what that is. Oh, timer. Time, local time. There's a Burlington route, CB&Q Railroad sign, Zephyrs at Galesburg, Union Pacific, Platte Valley route. To the left of the gift shop door, you can see right here is a map showing some railroad attractions in these areas. And look at these pictures. And here's a Pennsylvania railroad sign from Wellsburg. And I think that was in Pennsylvania. A railroad crossing yellow sign. And Railroad crossing one mile, an Otero sign from the Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad, and I think that's Otero, Illinois. And here's one from Oasis, and I think that's in Iowa, and Hill Office. Yeah, that's all the exhibits there. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning about trains with me today in Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also, I hope to see you all again in the next segment. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, the subscribe button is just down below the video screen. And if you didn't give the Facebook page a like yet, here's where you'll want to go. And if you didn't give the Instagram page a follow yet, here's where you'll want to go as well. Also, be sure to get your merch at teesprings.com. The link is in the description box below, along with the Facebook and Instagram pages. And remember to subscribe to the train guy. So this is Matthew Lapp host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show, sign now. Until next time, all aboard.